travel is the best way to release pressure. However, if you have a series of hiccups, which may ruin your travel, and make a happy new year become a problem happening new year. Thank you for Jack, your excellent speech today. Uh, your speech title is Happening New Year. If you don't, like I, uh, I didn't pay attention, I thought it was a typo as the Happy New Year. But now <laughs> I realize it's Happening New Year. The goal is to know your sense of humor and con congratulations, you make the goal. Um, I want to emphasize uh, humorous and funny are two different things. So uh, for humor or humorous, usually make the audience smart, lighter. And the funny or love, uh, laughter out loud could be uh, a different thing. So I want to make that uh, uh, clear. clear. Uh, give an example. We have a guest, Warren. He introduced himself as, I was made in Taiwan. It's kind of a humor, but it's not necessarily funny. It's not funny, but it's very humor. And also, he introduced himself, uh, himself as he was too shy to talk to the girl when he was in a Toastmaster. Warren, you are not alone. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jack, first you give us the whole structure about your story. You plan to have a celebration uh, for the new year with Jenny, and then you come out the ticket purchasing plan. However, uh, your ticket purchase plan failed because of uh, various reasons. First, you delegate to this ticket purchase to an expert. When you mentioned this point, I saw mo most people, they are smiling because they know what you meant. That means some people, they are very uh, sneaky or uh, smart. They can outbid the ticketing system. Can you pay them a uh, commission to get a ticket? So when you mention that point, most of the people, they smile. Okay, that's a good point. And then you, you told us you overslept. You missed the best chance to buy the ticket. And you, are very, uh, you have a very exaggerated body movement. That's just like uh, you hit the keyboard. And this is also uh, humorous. And then you told us you missed the flight because you overslept again. So you have twice overslept. And but you are lucky, you bought the ticket to Taitung and you met the friends unexpectedly at the airport. They invite you to their party, but you are surrounded by a lot of strangers. But you still uh, you have a good, good uh, happy time with uh, Jenny. That's a very good structure in your story. And I noticed you have a very rich body movement and facial expression. At least you are not 100% serious like sometimes I do then you are already engaged in the humor. So, however, if I have the suggestion, I would suggest you to maybe simplify some uh, not detailed point in your story and give the most part of your uh, central uh, idea. Thank you.